Alrighty guys, so today we're going to be looking at a bunch of different aftermarket pressure washer hoses. Again, if you've seen any of my videos, um, the hoses that come with these pressure washers are junky. They're short, they don't flex very well, they kink, they're just a nightmare. So uh, there's really three main points that I look at when I'm looking for a pressure washer hose. And number one, length. I usually like it to be at least 40, 50 feet long or not at least 50 feet long. 50 is really my, my priority, but at least 40 feet long. Um, number two is flexibility. Is it gonna be constantly tang tangling up on me or, if it, or is it gonna be nice and laid out and work well? And number three is uh, how kink free the hose is and how um, durable it is in, in that sense. If it kinks all the time, you're gonna create pressure points in that and it's gonna blow out eventually. So those are my three main points that we're gonna be looking at today. I have a different, a variation of different hoses here, different lengths, different things like that, but different materials. So we're gonna jump into this and take a look at each of these in depth real quick, um, and then I'll tell you my recommendation. Alrighty guys, so I went to Home Depot today and Walmart and picked up a few variations of hoses. Um, so we could really look at them side by side and take a look at them and see what I think. So the first one we're gonna be looking at is available at Home Depot, or at least my local Home Depot, and that is the PowerCare 25 foot 3200 PSI, rated up to 3200 PSI pressure washer hose. This is an M22 by 14 millimeter connection point. So that's gonna be a direct fit for your Ryobi's, Craftsman's, a lot of the big box stores are gonna be that exact size. Now they do give you an adapter that's an M22 14 to M22 15. Um, the problem is, is that this is the male end of the adapter and most of the pressure washers, the outlet is a female, or sorry, is a male end as well. So you need the female end to screw into it. So you're probably gonna still need a different adapter or you can put a quick connect there or something like that. But um, I will link the adapters down in the description below as well. Um, so first off, too short in my opinion. Now this thing was $29.97. So let's see what that is by the foot. A dollar. 20 basically if you round up dollar 20 a foot and let's go ahead and open this guy up and see how cumbersome it is and see how uh, if it kinks all right so here's the hose i'm just going to go ahead and hold one end and drop it and see how cumbersome it is not bad but if you look at this little knot that we got going on on here at the end and now that's not terrible because it is constantly wound up so but you can see it's still trying to wind back up on me and as I'm unrolling, guys, kink. Bad kink, actually. So, as you can see, that kinked super bad. Now let's straighten it out, and look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is kinked. It's completely kinked, and it's staying in, it, like this, the kink is staying there. You can actually see, I don't, yeah, you guys can see it right here. Right? So you can see the, the kind of wave in the material. That's a pressure point that's gonna fail over time. Plus, if you look at, let's just test this. There's a, kind of a slick coating on this, so it feels pretty good. But as you can see at the end there, as I'm pulling, it's sticking to itself. So when you're going around your car or anywhere, just using this around the house, if it catches something rubber, like a tire, it, it's gonna grab. Not the best. 25 feet at, a, at $29.97. No go for me. Now this, this is very similar to what pressure washers typically come with. Um, so if you're looking for a cheap option at your big box store, this is, I guess, the way to go. Um, but you're gonna not be very happy with it. So for me guys, this is a no go. Um, I wouldn't waste my money on buying this thing to use it. It's a nightmare. It's, it's just a pain in the butt. So um, again, it is rated to 3200 PSI. Uh, it is cold water only, but it kinks even when just trying to unroll it straight out of the package. So, no go. Alrighty guys, on to the next hose. Now this one is a bit more industrial grade. Uh, this is rated to 3700 PSI and it is 40 feet long uh, by a 5 16 diameter. Um, now this is from DeWalt. And again, you're getting more length, more PSI, so it's, it's, it's a sturdier hose. Again, this is an M22 by 14 millimeter um, 
connection point at the end, and they also give you an adapter, the same adapter as the last one, M22, 14 to 15, but again, it's just the male side, so doesn't really doesn't help me at all. I, I don't know why they give you that side. I guess what you could do is if you have another hose you could, uh, uh, that is an M22 by 15 or, or a pressure washer one, then that would work, but um, not, not the best. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. Right off the bat, guys, I will tell you, the coating on this thing is very sticky. Um, not, I mean, it feels like it's gonna grab onto itself and be kind of a headache to work with. So, uh, but let me go ahead and open this up. We'll check and see how well it unwinds. Now again, this, this hose is rated for cold water only. All right, so here we go. Oh my gosh, here we go. All right. Okay, here's one side, step on that. And again, guys, you can see it's just a pain. So you really, you know, when, you, when you're storing this thing, you store it rolled up like that, and now every time you go to use this thing, it's gonna, you're gonna have to deal with this, which is just a pain in the butt. Now, I will say that the connection points do have this nice uh, reinforcement, so you're not gonna get any bends there. Um, so that's nice. Now, the material, like I said, you see how shiny it is? Let me see if I can do that same test where you kind of tie it into a knot and see if it slides. I'm gonna assume it's not gonna slide at all. Oh my gosh, terrible on that. Terrible, terrible. So this thing is going to stick like crazy anytime you touch a tire, which is an absolute nightmare. Um, and kink, kink wise, it does pretty good. I mean, I'm trying to kink that. And it's getting tight, but it's not really kinking. Um, and then when you bounce back, it pretty much goes away completely. I'm not seeing it in the line of the hose anymore. So kink free, good. Um, 40 feet, good. Cumbersome, bad, sticky, bad. So um, it's a good looking hose though. And I, li I like the reinforcements on the sides, but again, um, it's too cumbersome for me. I, I, I can't stand that. We're gonna go on to the next one, which is gonna be the Ryobi um, aftermarket. Hose right here. But let me go ahead and wind this guy back up. All right, guys, one last thing I want to bring to your attention about this DeWalt hose is the cost. Again, it's 40 feet long and it cost, geez, it was $59.97. So it was a $1.50 basically um, a foot. Oops, sorry. Yeah, a dollar, basically you round it up, it's a buck fifty a foot. So, pretty expensive. Again, it is a robust feeling hose, but the fact that it's so sticky um, and, and so cumbersome, it's a no-go for me. Going back to the store, guys, I'm not using these at all. I'm just, I, I, I got them to review them, um, and I want, you know, if they're a good one, I'm gonna keep it. Um, but. This is a definite no-go for me, it's going back. All right, so next we have the Ryobi. Now the Ryobi looks good, kind of feels good. It looks similar to the Flexzilla hose, which is a fantastic hose. Um, so they're kind of going for that look, it seems to me, to be a kink-free. Now it does say right on here as well, uh, high flex, non-marring, non high pressure hose. Now non-marring is nice, you're not gonna leave any marks on your, on your driveway or anything like that. Um, high flex, let's see, that would be nice. All right guys, so this guy is rated to 3300 PSI. So all your electric pressure washers, even some gas, you're gonna be totally fine with this hose. Um, it also is an M22 by 14 millimeter fitting, but it does come with the M22 by 14 to 15. Again, both male ends, so I don't know. Uh, again, it says high flex. Let's go ahead and grab an end and see how high flex it is. Right now I can tell you it does not feel high flex to me. Alright, so as I'm doing it, <laughs> so I just got it all undone. 
but as you can see, you just lift up this other side and it's already still doing the same. Now it is nice and slick, um, so it wasn't too much of a pain to unravel. Now again, this guy, sorry, I don't know if I told you, this is a 35 foot hose. We're gonna do the test to see if it sticks. Nope, that feels really nice. It slides right in, super nice, so that's good. Now we will do the kink test. And it's kinking a little bit, um, but not bad. And that's the problem though, is that it is staying in the line. I can still feel the indention. It's staying, it's got an angle to it. Even when I try and pull it, you can see a little bit of an angle to it. Not bad. Um, so far, this is the best option at 35 feet. If you're at Home Depot and you're in a pinch and you need to get something, not bad, not great, but not bad. So um, again, this is only cold water, not hot water. Um, yeah, again, not fantastic, but out of the three that we've tried from Home Depot, this is the best option. Again, 35 feet, um, let's see here, it was, uh, let's see here, 39.97. So we'll run that real quick and find out how much that is per foot. 40 bucks divided by 35 feet. So buck 14 a foot. Um, so also the cheapest option from Home Depot, which is surprising to me because I really thought that this kind of random brand power, power care would have been the cheapest. Um, it's the worst, it's the shortest, it kinked really bad, um, but the Ryobi is a little bit cheaper, price per, per foot, um, and a better hose. All right guys, I'm trying to wind this uh, Ryobi hose back up. It's a bit of a pain. Yeah, they call it high flex, but it's a pretty stiff hose. Again, I am impressed with it. it uh, it's a decent hose if you're in a pinch, like I said, but um, still has room to grow. It's not, not great. So um, next one we're gonna be looking at is actually from Walmart. Um, one of you actually told me about this pressure washer hose because it is, well, I'll get to that in a second, but it's available at Walmart. My Walmart only had one um, in stock, so keep that in mind. Hopefully they'll have them for you guys if you're in a pinch. I would recommend this one over this one. This next one also is 35 feet, but it's a much better hose. All right, guys, so next up is this Black Max pressure washer hose. Again, 35 feet, sim so similar to the Ryobi. Um, it is rated to 3,800 PSI, so better rating than the Ryobi. Um, now this is an M22, it looks like by 14 millimeter, hose, uh, millimeter attachment. But again, same with all the others, they do give you the M22 by 14 to M22 by 15 adapter. Again, both male ends. So uh, let's go ahead and pop this guy open and I'll show you the secret behind this one. All righty guys, so real quickly, we're just gonna do the drop test again and see how cumbersome it is. Tied up in a knot here. So now the end is still a big knot, but you can see how straight this part is. So we can just filter through, untie it a little bit. Now you can see it is in a big mess, but it's coming apart easily. I'm just pulling and it's just coming apart. So I like that. The coating on this hose feels very, very good. And the big surprise is labeled right on there. I don't know if that's gonna focus for you. Bam, Uberflex. So like the Uberflex that I always recommend to you guys from Amazon that's blue, same hose material guys, made by the same company. Black, Black Max has used it for their, for their pressure washer hose and it's fantastic. Really good option guys. If you're in a pinch and you need a hose, go to Walmart and get this thing. 35 feet, 35 bucks. It's a dollar a foot. Uh, again, you can see how pliable this is. Just super, super pliable. Also kink free. I mean, I can get it to kink if I go to the very, I mean, look, it's really not even kinking. Like it gets tight, but it's not kinking. And then when you let go, bounces right back. Really, really good hose. Um, tie this guy in a knot so you guys can see how, look at that, all the way down to a tight little pretzel there. So it's fantastic. This is an amazing hose. If you're in a pinch, this is the one to get at your local Walmart. 35 bucks, 
35 feet, an Uberflex hose branded by, uh, by Black Max. Great color. Yeah, fantastic hose. Fantastic hose. Super pumped on this. So that was a really easy review because I know these Uberflex hoses so well. I love them. Um, yeah, they're fantastic. This is a really great option, guys. Again, 35 bucks, 35 feet. So a dollar a foot and it's a fantastic hose. So like I said, if you're in a pinch, this is the one to go get. Alrighty guys, next we're jumping into, this is a factory hose that comes with the fa the, one of these pressure washers. This is actually from a Craftsman, but it's very similar to what comes with the Ryobi. Um, so again, drop test. And you remember on the Uberflex it went straight up here, so not a great start. And again, just trying to undo it, and we got a kink. So this is actually really similar, yeah, same, same here though. Really similar to that Power Care pressure washer hose. Um, also 20, 20 or 25 feet, I can't remember what this is, but um, again, a no-go for me. This is why I always recommend upgrading your hose for your pressure washer. The ones they come with are just not great. Uh, so well, that's it, guys. This one we're just blazing right through because you don't need to hear me talk about how much I don't like it. Uh, next hose we're gonna jump into is the Flex Zilla hose. Um, fantastic hose also. And uh, it's a very, very similar construction to the Uberflex hose. So a lot of you have actually um, debated me on that. I always say, yeah, I get this, it's the same. And in the comments, people have said, no, they're not the same, they're, they're, they're not the same. Well, I wanna, uh, I'm gonna go into an in-depth video um, comparing the Uberflex versus the Flexzilla side by side, um, and we'll get to the bottom of that. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop open the Flexzilla. And it is branded Flexzilla all over the hose. It is rated, oh, let's see here. It's rated at 3,100 PSI. Now this one is just their 25 footer. I got this because I personally, it, it's a little bit more expensive than the Uberflex. Um, so I didn't want to spend the money. I just wanted to compare that and see exactly how it is. But they do have a 50 foot option, which is definitely what I would recommend. Um, and that price, um, I believe it's around 60 bucks. All right, guys, so the price on Amazon for the Flexzilla hose in the 50 foot option, uh, which is, again, is the one I recommend, is $65.98. So basically 66 bucks divided by 50 feet. So you're at $1.32 a foot. Not a bad price, um, it's just the Uberflex is, is cheaper. So uh, let's see here. Uh, it's got some cords, let me cut these off real quick. All right, guys, it's all cut off. We're gonna do the same test, the drop test. And as you can see, it's tangled up a little bit, but it goes straight, very, very similar to the Black Max, which is by Uberflex. So um, let me go, go ahead and untangle this guy. And it's coming apart super nicely. Again, this is the 25 footer, but they do have the 50 foot option, which is what I would recommend. Hose does not kink. Same kind of thing as the Uberflex. Squeeze it really tight, barely just compresses a little bit, but no kink. Now it does say it's manufactured Flexzilla by Legacy Brand. 3,100 PSI, made in the USA with a patent number. So it's a patented hose technology, um, or we'll get into that in another video. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue to review this. It is an M22 by 14 millimeter fitting. We'll do the pretzel test. Perfect, all the way down to a nice tight pretzel. So the coating of this thing feels exactly like the Uberflex. Um, it's again, it's just a different color. So I always recommend a lot of people like to kind of color code their pressure washers. So if you're getting a Ryobi, this thing is a perfect color match um, for those Ryobi units. Um, so it's a, it's a cool, you know, cool little unit to have. So uh, you are going to pay a little bit more price per foot than the Uberflex, but very, very, very similar. Very similar. So same connections, all that kind of good stuff. We're going to jump into the last hose, my favorite hose, my uh, uh, fantastic Uber Flex hose. Now this is the 50 foot variant. Go ahead and show you guys the drop test. Straight, straight, straight. Now this one has been unwound from the packaging in the past. Uh, so obviously it's nice and straight already, but uh, fantastic hose guys. I can't, really can't tell you um, just how amazing these things are. 
Again, you're gonna be getting basically the same thing from the Flexilla. You're gonna get the same thing from that Black Max because that is an Uber Flex hose. Uh, we'll do the pretzel test. Amazing. Uh, yeah, so good. Kink test. No kink. Again, it just compresses because it's tight, but comes right back, zero kink, nothing in the material. Um, the material is, it, like it does have a coating to it. I don't know if you can see. But that's why it's, it slides so smooth. So when you're working on a car, it's not getting caught up like crazy like some of those other hoses would. It's super straight, like no kink to it at all. Um, not cumbersome, just a fantastic hose. And you can see here it says Uberflex by ProPulse. And then it has a patent number on it as well. Um, again, it does say keep away from hot surfaces. Because of that coating, you could melt it, I guess. Um, but I've never had any issues. Super, super good hose. This is by far the one I recommend. I'll link it down in the description. I'm actually gonna look it up. For the 50 footer, it's also your best value. All right, unfortunately, it's just so currently unavailable. Uberflex is a big company, they're US based. They will get these back in stock, so don't worry if you're watching this. I'll link it down below. Make sure you click the link, it should be available. If it's not, they should be coming in very, very shortly. So. Um, I, it doesn't, it's not showing me the price, but I know that it's sub 50 bucks. So it's under a dollar a foot for the best hose out of the bunch. So, um, highly, highly recommend guys. Also, I did find, um, now Uberflex is, the company is called Schiefer is the parent company. And I found they do have a hundred foot variant, um, right here as well. Three eighths, three eighths diameter, hundred foot, uh, and it is black for 120 bucks. So um, again, a little, what is that, a buck 20? A dollar 20 a foot. Um, but this one does come with different connections. It comes with quick connects ready to roll, um, male and female fitting. So that's, you get value built in right there. Now I will be doing a video also comparing, um, a lot of people are worried about the distance of the hose and if it affects the pressure of the pressure washer. Now, I've heard, now with the 50 footer, I know that it doesn't. I've tested the factory hose with the pressure washer versus the 50 foot. Doesn't affect the PSI or GPM at all. Um, but I've heard that once you get into 100 foot or more, it can. So I'm gonna be doing a review uh, coming up soon enough, testing the different lengths of pressure washer hoses to see if it actually does affect the pressure. Um, but regardless, guys, that's your that's that's the video today pro pulse uber flex hose by schieffer co um it's the best option i i love them i love them i love them i use them in my mobile units in my in my detailing business i use them in my shop fantastic hoses they they're kink free easy to work with longer than the others and the best price so just depending on which color you guys want you have the black option from schieffer uh also the black option a 35 foot from black max um, that you can get at Walmart. And then you have the 50 foot, either Uberflex or Flexzilla. Uh, Flexzilla in green, Uberflex in blue. All right guys, thanks so much. Please like the video. Make sure you're subscribed. Comment down below what you think. Any recommendations you guys have, any other videos you want me to do. And we'll see you on the next one.